Justin might cry a lot. Justin, you look like your mama, don't you? Hey, I can't. Me, yeah. Justin, don't play with Alexis' heart. Morgan, oh hell. Kristen got a good mama at home. Alexis will argue with you. Kristen looks like she can't bend too much. That's not a short person face. You know how we get a little thicky one? Look at you wearing your all-inclusive wristband to your wedding. She has baby bang. Kristen come from money. Is that Paisley? Fight your mama. Skinnier version of this man. Were you a Boy, I'ma like Alexis. Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. This is just the character I play on YouTube. They're gonna have a lot of issues in the very beginning. She seems like a girl's girl. I'm really worried. She got a real ring too. Don't lose yourself, Nate. Strength of a man. You like a thick kid. Over my family of swimmers. I'm trying to think what makes big hands. It be the quiet one. You can live through me. I don't really care no more. Get out the DM. I wonder if that means that they didn't have a lot of physical chemistry. I got my first piece of hate mail from a cast member, y'all. <laughs> You know her mother and her father. Can we go on a journey together? My people assessments were really good. Trust me. What up fam and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Rizzo. Guys, we are getting right into Married at First Sight season 15. I know we had about two minutes to break through it. But welcome back, guys. Okay, this is not like official welcome back because this is just the first looks. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, y'all. Big up to y'all for sticking through many and many seasons. Oh, y'all, y'all see how I, I dye my hair lighter since we're in the summer, right? Okay, enough of that. Look, so if this is your first time here, I am your girl Donna Rizzo, aka Rizzo. We do Married at First Sight recaps, Real Housewives of Potomac, Insecure. I'm looking to do Real Housewives of Dubai, so that's coming up very soon. In I mean, not Insecure. Issa is dropping a new show called, I forgot what it's called, but it's the City Girls. No, it's called um, Rap Shit. So we might be recapping that one as well. Super excited. But if you are here in this video, you are likely here because you are a true blue Married at First Sight fan just like I am. You may recognize me from the Married at First Sight kickoff, mid-season special, decision day dish, and what was the last one I was on? Oh, and the clip show. The countdown for season 14. Y'all, that season is done. We are moving now into season 15. We've got a whole new group of couples from San Diego and I cannot wait to get into it with you guys just so y'all know I take a look at all the photos for the first time people releases them I take a look and I give my assessments on who I think these people are based on their looks what kind of dress what kind of suit they're wearing what hair they decided for their wedding day nails jewelry, all of that I think all of that helps you read into a person I'm not always right but it is what it is, y'all. Honestly, these experts ain't always right either. So fight your mama, okay? Look, oh, and we have two new experts this season. Y'all saw that? Mm, okay, okay. Oh, and please, y'all, look. Before we get into this, I just want to lay some real, real quick rules. Because a couple folks, y'all did really well last season following these. But we're going to change a couple of them, okay? First and foremost, that will never change is no spoilers. Do not do that. This is not the page for spoilers. There are many pages for that. I love to watch the show and watch it progress real time with you guys. I live tweet the shows as I can based on availability. So please head over to my Twitter at Rizzo with love so you can live tweet some of the shows with me. If you need reminders, I will put it on my Instagram from Rizzo with love, same name here. And there's a little more to come. So stay tuned for that guys. I'm super excited about this season. I'm really gonna try to stop seeing guys as well. That is not a gender neutral thing. We gotta stop that. Last season I was like, go into a room and say, hey gals and see how the guys react. I didn't try it yet, but. Oh, I, no, I'm lying. I did do an email and say, hey, ladies. Okay. Um, you know you bad. Okay, that just pops in my head every time I say, hey, ladies. Also, if you're new here, we've got ADD. And I don't want to take anything because it suppresses your creativity. So y'all just have to join me <laughs> on this journey, okay? Before we get into these couples, I want to look at the quick, real snippet predictions that I made from last season to see how close I was. So let's throw to season 14's first looks and see how close I was. And see, you're gonna have a mouth on her. Lindsay, mm. look at his titty! Mark with his waxed eyebrow. Hola, tu, just me. That was wrong. Katina, are you Cape Verdean? Michael's a bit of a shorty. This man is very hairy. Katina, were you Miss Boston? I think my best friend might be Jasmine. Y'all know I love Gil's Still. earring collection. <laughs> love me anyway. Why are you so pretty, sis? She has a very similar dress style to Jasmine. She and with did. small ears are handsome. Look at how sweet. I'm not gonna make it. I'm a good judge of carrots. He's 
stupid, Katina. Why you look like an F boy though? This man is he was man for sure. She don't be in these streets. Did you guys get your vouchers? It's a certain type of man who wears the white jacket. This woman comes from wealth. Oh my God. Oh, I'm laughing my tears away. This is the quirky couple. This is a good looking couple. This is cute. Judge not least you be judged. These are just people assessments. We got to do better than what we did. Okay, look, my people assessments were really good. Now, my predictions weren't. But who can predict how old this shit will go, y'all? <laughs> like, this is actually crazy. I got two right. Ultimately, we're not gonna do that decision thing because what happens on decision day is only a small piece into what your life will be, y'all. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Please let me know what you think, who you think is gonna stay together just by looking and kind of analyzing. I think what I'm gonna do this season is leave a question open at the end. So make sure you stick through this video at the end so that you can really engage in these comments. I love, love, love to interact with y'all in these comments. So keep it going. All right, without further ado, let's go. Our first couple up is... Lindy and Megan. Megan. Okay, really quickly, this is giving me, and I know everybody's their own person, but you know, if you're a super fan like me, you already know. This is giving me a bit of Haley, but like nicer Haley, even though I like Haley. Uh, Haley and Henry? Hmm, this is cute. This might be the quirky, the odd, the interesting, very reserved, like, I haven't dated too much. I've only had one serious relationship and it didn't work out. And now I'm 24 and I think I need to be married. One of those type of people. You know, those couples usually work because these people are like, this is all I know. And I'm gonna just throw it out there. And I really want this to work because I'm not the type of person who gives a lot of people chances and goes out and dates a lot. So when they're put together with these experts opinions or like expertise, then they are more likely to stay in this. So. I like these two. I will say, hey, what's Lindy? Lindy, not Haley. Lindy and Miguel, this is very interesting. As traditional, as calm, as introverted as I think these two people are, their outfits suggest something very differently. Lindy has that very, very low cut, you know, I wanna show a little sexy, which you know, it'd be the quiet one. Even though loud. And then Miguel over here has a very outgoing, is that Paisley? What is this? I don't, know, I don't know what this design is on it, but it's like a maroon tux with a design, though his name is Miguel. So he got some culture in there and culturally everybody isn't as boring as Americans are when we're like, let's just wear black and white and that's it. So maybe that's a part of him and his culture trying to come out as much as he can in this American wedding. Though, hmm, he looks very nervous. At least Lindy is like, let me hold your arm. We'll see if we can make this work, guys. Like, look, he looks, this is this is gonna be an interesting one. Lindy, you are a teacher. Or Miguel, you are a teacher or a tutor or something. These two are connected to children in some way. And I think their career path is probably how they're gonna connect. Or Miguel might be like IT. Maybe he teaches kids how to code. That's what I'm going with. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y'all, I told you, this is me. Let me see, do I see any shoes or anything special? No, see, and you know what? Even though her dress is very low cut, it's a nice traditional lace. It's not giving dolly either or curtain. It's giving very nice wedding dress lace and I appreciate that. So honestly, I'm gonna say that these two are gonna work. There's gonna be some tough times because I think that Miguel probably especially is very stuck in his particular ways, his traditional ways. And if these two haven't been in relationships in a while, I think it's gonna be a little tough for them to integrate, but I'm interested. Also, this is an intercultural relationship. I appreciate that. Okay, who's next? Also, if this is your first time here, I don't care. I use filters, guys. <laughs> I am going to use a lot more because I feel like I haven't given y'all that and Texas and somewhere else took filters away. So you can live through me. Y'all remember this one? I think I used this for, who was that, Ryan? Okay, but let's focus, who's up next? Kristen and Mitch. Mitch, Mitch you look like, who's that man name? Who was that first expert? Season one's spiritual expert. Cause y'all know, I don't know if you guys haven't been here this long, but Pastor Kyle wasn't always the only spiritual advisor that they had. There used to be, you know what? I'm gonna put him up here. He looks like a skinnier version of this man. I'm going to actually, after this, I'm going to go back and check just to make sure this isn't him. But look at that. And Kristen. Kristen come from money, too. This 
this is the Republican couple. So y'all know, every year we have a very liberal, very progressive. We got left, right, religious, non-religious. I want kids, I don't want kids, travel the world, no matter. It's all over and I really appreciate that because I think it helps us to relate. Like all types of people can relate to this show because of the variety of couples, how they interact, things that they speak about, which I think is great. I am hoping that we have our two black couples like we have every year. So we'll see. And I want to not say every year because sometimes you mix it up, but I'm hoping that we have a little diversity. Though we did see Miguel. So Miguel gave us that Latin diversity, which I appreciate. Kristen and Mitch. Kristen got that jaw that gives me a middle, um, I'm going to say Middle Eastern, middle, no, Eastern European jaw. Are you like Slovakian? Ukra I want to say Ukrainian, but God bless them. You from like Czech Republic, you Russia? What is it? You she got something in her. But I will say these two both look like they come from money. And I think that's gonna help because Kristen probably said, I need a man who is self-sufficient because she is very wealthy. So I do appreciate that about these two. I'm interested to see this couple this season. They're gonna give me, they're gonna give me what I need. Because Kristen looks like she can't bend too much. And Mitch looks like he wants to be the man of the household. And Kristen looks like she already runs things and wants things her way. So I'm really interested to see how this couple goes. Now, let's talk about these fits. Mitch, I see your little watch peeking through. Wait a minute. Is that a bead? Mitch, Mitchell? Your name Mitchell, right? Mitch, you know I was going to say, I see your watch. Why does that look like an all-inclusive band you have on? Mitch, where you come from? See, now this makes me think maybe Mitch doesn't have it all together, even though he might think he has it all together and he needs a Kristen. This is where the experts are going to come in and be like, look at you wearing your all-inclusive wristband to your wedding. <sighs> all right, Kristen, again, another very traditional lace dress. I'm not that into this dress. I feel like Kristen got a cute little body under here. But this isn't really, you know, it's not doing it for me. And the hair thing. Kristen, maybe this is very traditional. Kristen got a good mama at home. Her mom is very opinionated. And she has a say in what she does. I can't wait to see Kristen's mom come to the wedding dress shopping with her. I feel like there's going to be a lot of opinions. To that, will Kristen always rely on the opinions of her family? Or always be conscious of the opinions of her family? Are they so overly critical that she has difficulty dating because she's always in her mind over analyzing things or, or not being able to make a decision on her own because her family is so heavily involved in her life and was so heavily involved in her life as a uh, child. Very interested to see these two. Unfortunately, I'm gonna say they're gonna have too many issues and I think it might be Mitch who doesn't want this. Mitch, you got a good beard though. Y'all know the new season of Game of Thrones is uh, coming out? Not new. It's not Game of Thrones, it's like uh, the Khaleesi story. Hmm, Mitch, your beard gave me that. It gave me, I forget because it's been so long. But yeah, check them out. If this don't work, you can go over there. Okay, couple number three. Here, okay, here we go. Thank you for giving us a black couple. You know what? This couple black black. Like I feel like they're regular black. <laughs> is what I refer to as black American quintessential black American black. I live for this. Justin is a little skinny man. Okay, Justin looks like he's tall or not. Alex I was gonna say is Alexis short, but Alexis got the face of a grown woman. That not a short person face. Alexis with the baby hair. What legs? Come on, okay? <laughs> Alexis said, give me. This. See, that's what I'm talking about, quintessential. I'm gonna like Alexis. I can tell Alexis is gonna make jokes and we are going to live for it as the viewers. I can already tell that. There's gonna be, th be things that she says, maybe in mixed settings that everyone doesn't get, but we gonna get it. I can already tell and I like that. She seems like a girl's girl. Like she got a gang of women around her. They brunch. She's just a cool chick. I like her. Justin, Justin, you look like your mama, don't you? They both have really good teeth. Solid lips, does that mean we're kissing? Come on. They're gonna kiss at the altar. I should've said that about the others, but they're gonna kiss at the altar. You know, so now I'm looking at Justin's jacket and it's reminding me of Miguel's jacket. And now I'm like, hmm, maybe Miguel wasn't trying to be so out there. Maybe that's just how this designer is. Because you guys know, they all pick from the same tux, dress, all of that. So let me scroll up. What did this last man? Nah, see, look, I, told, I knew Mitch, Mitch wasn't playing. Mitch said, look, give me a three piece quintessential tuxedo. All right, I'm not mad at you, Mitch. All right, back to Justin. Justin is very loving. Justin, I worry, were you a boy? in your era. That's why you can't find nobody right now. 
You were scouted. Hmm. Justin, don't play with Alexis hard. Don't do that. Because Alexis will argue with you. If she find out that you cutting up and acting a fool and you kikiing, you giving us Dre, don't do it, okay? Justin, don't do it. I do like that he got the black band. She said, look, I want a black man. Give him the black band. I can't see Alexis's dress, but I do see that it's not laced like the other two ladies and there are kind of floral appliques. It looks like a sweetheart neckline and she's got a diamond, just regular bracelet. I appreciate this. Also, wait a minute. You know how the guys usually get a band and like you know, essentially the wedding band and not an engagement ring? If we zoom in, this looks like Alexis has a wedding ring. So Justin is trying to come correct. Like, look, I'm actually in this because I am purchasing a ring. I hope it's not like Jake where he then wants it back if they don't work out. Though, give it back if y'all don't work out, right? I don't know. That does say something. Now that also could say, I'm just trying to impress the cameras because I was an F boy before. So I'm trying to make it seem like I'm doing everything right. Uh, Anybody ring a bell here? So I'm worried about these two. I'm really worried. I actually do not believe that these two are gonna work. Dang it. I think Alexis might be my BFF though. She might be a little too hard on Justin and Justin's probably like not used to a strong woman like that. And he'll be like, I ain't gotta deal with this and might give up a little too early. Man, I worry about this. They're gonna have a lot of issues in the very beginning of the season. If they can get over it is the question. Stick with me and let's figure that out. All right, y'all. So no to Alexis and Justin. They're really my maybe, but I'm gonna ultimately say no. Dang it. Okay, our fourth couple is Stacia and Nate. Well, these? Wait, she got a real ring too. What are these men doing? Wait a minute. Also, her dress has the floral appliques too. They got the same dress? Stacia and, um, what's your name? Stacia and Alexis, y'all got the same dress on? Maybe, actually. Interesting, maybe that's why they chose not to show Alexis's dress because it's the same. Okay, now, let me zoom out because, hmm, these two have some very interesting facial features. Look at this. You know how they say that people are attracted to features that they have? Like people have real bugged out eyes. They're attracted to people with bugged out eyes. If you have high arch eyebrows, you're attracted to people with high arch eyebrows or people who look like your mother or you know father, whatever it is, because those are the images of beauty that you saw, of people that you first fell in love with and of yourself who you see every day. Who does they see look like? She gives me a cartoon character. I cannot figure it out though. Who she give me? The count? Is she older? She looks older. Ooh, is she, what's his man name? Is she older than Nate? Also, she got little thicky thick hands. Did you recently lose weight or were you like a thick kid and you lost weight? Or you come from a family of swimmers. I'm trying to think what makes big hands. <laughs> This is interesting. Okay, I'm interested in both of them. He's also giving me like the Jaden Smith smile. Nate, I can't. Like, I already can't with Nate. I can tell he's gonna be a, a, a fool. I'll say a fool, but like funny fool. So this is very interesting. I feel like just like our boy Mike, Nate might need to learn and get coaching from Stacia about how to properly date and court her. And I hope she doesn't hold it against him because she seems like, you know, if she's older, that she's more knowledgeable in this and that she's more experienced in relationships. He may not be. So I hope she doesn't hold it against him if he doesn't love her in the way in which she wants to be loved right away and that she's actually able to coach him through this. So we shall see on this couple. You know, she also has studs as her earrings. Very traditional, like not showing too much, even though this is lay, she's got the veil. She's got like loose curls with a swoop over. So I am giving this couple a yes. We're probably gonna look at them and be like, what? Nate, what happened? Don't lose yourself, Nate. And I hope Nate doesn't stay with her just because he wants to be married after they've had very tumultuous times. And then he regrets it later after he gets all this fame, this short-lived fame from the show and then steps out because y'all up in his dm like i could be someone you can really love you right like no also get out the dms early get out the dms so in a weird way i'm gonna say this couple's gonna work our fifth and final actually you know before we get into this 
Look, we got two black couples, y'all. Yeah. Okay, our fifth and final couple is Morgan and Benhi. Ben. 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 He. I'm, I don't know. Where are you from? Morgan. Oh, hell. Morgan, the girl. Morgan and Benny. This is C. You know, I hate when y'all do this. <laughs> okay, these two are super cute. She is white and Asian, and he is just Asian. She a little thick, thick. You know how we get a little thicky one? Morgan and Ben. Yeah, she thicky. I like that. Respect. You know what? Thank you, Mary. First time. I'm tired of the black girl always being the thickest one here. You better find us a little thicky, thick little. Actually, she. I was gonna say white going joint, but she she white and Asian. I appreciate that. And I wonder if they are from the same background. He's really cute. I like this fella. And you know what? He's got the suit is fitted correctly. He's got a bit of the cuff coming out. You know, that's exactly how it's supposed to be done. Uh, I only know that from Garcon Couture. Shout out to y'all. Listen, he looks really nice. Also, her bouquet, do we? Let me go back. Her bouquet is gorgeous. It's a lot darker than I've seen these other bouquets. Have we not seen anyone's bouquets here? No. I love this. I like this. That's in also interesting that the bouquet picture is the one that they chose for this one. I wonder if that means that they didn't have a lot of physical chemistry and there weren't other pictures that they could choose for this. Hmm. That could mean something. I like this fella. He's now, look at his hair. He's got the, it's not, I don't want to call it a mohawk. What is this? It might, maybe it is a mohawk. That could mean something. Great skin, both of them. This is a wild card for me. I have no idea what to say about this one. I wonder if he will be attracted to her though. Because you know what? As I'm looking at him, he got a little beanie head, it looks like, but it may be the he got a regular size head, but his shoulders are broad. Let me zoom in. You know how you can tell the strength of a man? Is you gotta zoom into the hands real quick. Let me zoom. It's, it's giving me nothing, guys. Okay. But I am seeing her dress now. I do like the little leaves. Okay, all right. Not too much. This looks like a sweetheart neckline though, because I don't see any straps, which I love because that gives me confidence. A lot of time, us ladies with the extra luggage in our arms over here want to get a cap sleeve, a sleeve to cut it, something to cut it off. And I appreciate the fact that she's like, nope, here I am. Arms out, accept me as I am, husband. I appreciate that. She has bangs. She has baby bangs. She's giving me, what's that girl named Kate? She giving me Kate, though. She gave me Kate, and Kate got a little lingerie little number over here, so she might be working too. I think I actually like these two. What can I get about their personality? Because I haven't, you know, other seasons I'd be like, you know, her mother and her father, and she went through a lot of trauma. But this one, I don't think I've done that a lot with these people, I wonder. Hmm, okay, let me get some background on them. I don't wanna force, you know, I don't wanna force it if it's not coming to me. I don't wanna force it. Yeah, I got nothing, mm -hmm. Maybe they have very traditional families. Maybe she was raised by her Asian side, which is why she's very attracted to an Asian man. And that's probably what she asked for. But I don't know, this man, he got good teeth, good smile, great skin. Now, is your hairline receding, sir? Your forehead looks to do the curve to the back already. Don't do that, okay? I like these two. I think they're gonna take a little bit of massaging in the beginning, but I am going to say that they two are gonna work. If they're not gonna work, it's one of two reasons, and I'm sure I'm not being very, um, our predictions aren't gonna be great here, but it might not work because he is not attracted to her or because she's very confident, so she don't really care. Her confidence may be like, look, if you ain't it, I'ma just go ahead and find somebody else. Like she doesn't seem like she has an issue finding people to date and like she looks like she's happy and she goes on a lot of dates. Very similar to Kate for me. Um, so that's my only concern is that she may just be like, oh, there's another date that didn't work and that's it. So we'll see about these two, but if they can get over the hump, I say yes. So I'm gonna say yes to them. Okay, so let's go through these final predictions because we're gonna have a better season than we did last season, even though we have four yeses on decision day, but one couple kicked the bucket early, which I don't think we're gonna, I mean, I never would have expected that, but I hope we don't have that this season. But, okay, Lindy and Miguel, what did I say about them? Lindy and Miguel stay together. Kristen and Mitch, no. Alexis and Justin, no. Oh my God, it's a lot of no's. Stacia and Nate, yes. And Morgan and Ben He. My final prediction for them is going to be a yes. I'm really curious if they can make it after decision day and what the reunion will be. 
but I'm going to say yes for them. And so there's a mixed season. There isn't anyone that I look at right now and I'm like, I hate you, except I could, Mitch, you might get on my nerves. Mitch, you might not want to bend for Kristen too much. It's going to make me mad. Kristen might cry a lot too. That's going to make me mad too. Kristen and Mitch might be my annoying couple this season. I want everybody to love. Honestly, I want everybody to love and work out. Please. We need more babies. We need more long-standing marriages. Oh my goodness. Baby Rain. Come on. Shouts to you. And baby Weston, Austin, and um, Jessica's little cutie little baby. Just so good. So y'all, those are my predictions and first looks for Married at First Sight season 15. Season 15 is crazy. 15 shows be stretching to try to make it to seven so that they can get in syndication they don't rarely make they don't really make that but 15 seasons that's insane and i have seen 14 <laughs> good for them all right guys okay actually before i do that let me give some rules no spoilers okay not the page for that we've already said that do not give spoilers on here if you read something in a blog if you know one of these people also the world be mad small if you black and educated there's only a max of three degrees between us y'all this is yet another season how many seasons have i okay dc season houston season san diego season i'm trying to think who the other oh the second new york season i'm trying to remember the interconnectedness between folks in my life and on these shows. It's really interesting that it's more the recent seasons. I guess because I'm like more in the, uh, even I'm not in the age range because I passed that. This is also interesting. I want to see um, if we have any older couples because you guys mentioned that you wanted an older couple. So I'm curious if they're going to do it for this season or if they're going to do it for another season. So really interesting to see these ages and how ages play out and if that has any part into how these relationships work. Um, okay, so no spoilers. I don't want to hear it. Don't DM me about the spoiler. Don't send me an article. Unless my name is in it, I don't want to hear it, okay? I'm watching the season episode by episode with you guys as we commentate and talk and get to know these couples. I do not like to know the end of the movie, the end of the book before we get there. No shade to you guys who do, but like, can we go on a journey together? Like walk side by side. I don't want to catch up to you over there. All right, anyway. Um, also, people be wrong. So like, mm. second part of that is, the one that I may be changing. Because I have done a very good job of not responding to the hate in the comments, um, blocking people who say hateful things or mean things, like talking about people's physical features, you know, calling people dumb, labeling folks, um, racist, cultural, real crazy things that people be writing. I don't know if y'all have seen them, but a lot of times I'll delete things. Not a lot, because it doesn't have to happen often, but I delete several of those. Now, what I will say is, We've been doing a really good job of that, right? I go on the other pages and sometimes I see y'all pop up in the comments because you know how like when you preview a picture on Instagram, somebody, uh, you know, if it's a big site or something, somebody who you follow, you'll actually see their comment first. So I'll be seeing y'all comments. Y'all be reckless on other people's pages. Live your life. Thank you for not bringing that over here to Front Brazil with Love. But what I will say is I don't really care no more. Live your life. I got my first piece of hate mail from a cast member, y'all. <laughs> Can you believe I have to be so nice to people? So I give up. We gonna say what the f we want. Cause you know what I think people think I'm nice. This is just the character I play on YouTube. So speak your mind, do what you want. No, that's not nice. I shouldn't do that. Don't lie. I'm not gonna lie either. I don't know if y'all noticed a lot of times people would make comments like calling Jasmine to Jasmina, which is hilarious but i didn't participate in or like giving Lindsay some like psychological shit that nobody is qualified for unless you're actually her therapist a lot of times people are like elijah Wan is toxic he's an abuser he doesn't respect women i would just let y'all sit and do that and you know i wasn't interacting with it because i said until i meet these people i can't make that assessment we see them for 10 15 minutes a week on tv with a number of edits I can't quite categorize people like that. Now, if I meet you and you embody those things, that's very different. But we can't have that, right? But live your life. Do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. But what I will say, just like I say, anytime on these social media shits, if you would not say what you're saying to that woman's face or to that man's face, don't you type that shit. I'm telling you, I don't know where the bravery comes in social media games, but don't you type that, okay? 
And to cast members old and new who are watching this, you are here to find your happy. If you have truly given your all and exhausted all the resources to find your happy and it still is not working out, you get the f out. And you go ahead and use this platform for good, for you and for those around you. This is a business platform. This has moved from being social now that you are now a public figure and it has moved into a business platform. So you use it as such to change the trajectory of your life and the life of those around you. With those repeat four or five statements that people are gonna say about you week over week, it's gonna be the same nonsense over and over again. That These people do not know you. I told you they see you for about 10 to 15 minutes a week after edits with another partner these people do not know you and when the next season comes gonna go just that quickly do not let this impact you and your life and hold on to you when these people who don't even know you are never thinking about you again if you did your part to represent yourself and your family correctly look what those four or five comments are saying you are here for one season and that's whether to find long-standing love or create drama whatever the for you are here for one season do not gain the world and lose your soul for this one single moment i will tell you it's not worth it trust me all right y'all i'm really excited for this season i'm super ready to start this i cannot wait for a whole nother season i could have waited because i did need some time in between but you know here we are also stop yelling at me on social media there were none different about this season and all the episodes it's the same number of episodes the same number of specials don't be yelling at me i do not have any say also don't send me that the network should do i hope y'all do understand that i am not employed by the network something happened with last year two things happened last year and somebody wrote me like, how can I get access to this episode? And I'm like, I'm trying to get access too. <laughs> like, we in the same boat. Please recognize that I am only a voice for you in these moments. That's why I love to interact with y'all in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. The question this week is a very, very simple one. Who do you think is staying together and who do you think is getting divorced? Make it easier so you don't have to write all five couples down. Let me know who you think is going to stay together. And I want to just say decision day. I want to say by reunion because that's really telling. That means are you going to stay together beyond the experiment? Like, Did the experts do a good job of pairing these people together in life? This isn't just a show about can you make it eight weeks. No, this is a show about being married long term forever and ever. Amen. If you can do that, the experts did a good job, which means if you break up by the reunion, experts did not do a good job. So let me know if you guys think these people or which couples you think will still stay together by the reunion. All right, y'all, thank you so, so much for watching and joining me for another season, a historic season of Married at First Sight, season 15. Again, these were only the first looks based on the wedding photos that they posted. So let me know how y'all feel, what y'all think about all of this, and let's go. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks as we officially start. Married at First Sight season 15. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Interact with each other. If you are new here, please announce yourself. Let me know where you are from. Love to hear it. Love to see it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in a couple weeks. And please, please, for the participants as well, remember that everything that I'm saying is from Rizzo with love. I really want y'all to fall in love, okay? and live happy ever after. And if that's not your right person, don't stick in it. I don't want that. That's not me, okay? That's not what you wanna get over here. You getting real. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye.